Thanks very much, Chrissy, for that uh, excellent introduction. Good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. I've, yeah, my name's Darren Bromley, as you know by now. I'm a director and CFO of Triangle Energy. Um, this time last year, when I gave uh, this presentation, uh, Triangle had just completed uh, the acquisition of the operating entity of the Cliffhead asset um, from Rock Oil. Uh, to take us to 78.75% of the joint venture. The last 12 months has been busy. We've, uh, since then, we've become the registered operator of, of the Cliff Head uh, project. Uh, we've significantly reduced our operating costs within the joint venture. We've completed sub, a subsurface static model uh, with the ultimate aim of uh, increasing reserves. We've been involved with an oil discovery at Xanadu in our joint venture with uh, the Xanadu joint venture that's operated by Norwest and some of you might have seen Shelley's presentation earlier today. Uh, and we've also spun out a project out of our group um, and listed that on the ASX, uh, State Gas Limited, which is a Queensland based gas project. So we believe at Triangle, these are exciting times for Triangle. Um, it's been a busy year, and by the end of this presentation, I'm sure you'll understand why Triangle's a great investment at this point in time. Just to, sh to get the, the presentation started, I'm going to give you a quick uh, one-minute video on just to showcase the infrastructure at Cliffhead. So this is our offshore... Uh, Cliff, Alpha, uh, Cliff Head Alpha platform. Smith facility where we process uh, the crude and then that gets trucked down to south of Perth to BP's refinery. Our office in West Perth and we've got a very capable and professional team of oil and gas employees. So Triangle Energy is the only producer and lead player in the highly prescriptive prospective underexplored Perth Basin. We're the re registered operator of the Cliffhead field with a 78% interest, including all of that onshore and offshore infrastructure that we see as being vital to, to, the, to the region. Our other main assets are the a 30% interest in the, the Xanadu uh, project that I've mentioned before, and a 35.47% interest in ASEX listed state gas. We've got a clear growth strategy to increase reserves and oil recovery. And all of this put to, uh, as a combination, we believe, is a good basis for driving shareholder value. Triangle has a market cap of around $20 million at today's share price. At the end of August, we had $3.2 million in the bank. And from, our, from the Cliffhead field, we've got a tributal cash flow to our group of approximately 21.9, so $22 million. So what we've got is production with cash flow. The infrastructure costs $327 million to build. We have a market cap of $20 million. We've got onshore capability in this Aerosmith plant to process up to 15,000 barrels of crude per day. And it's currently underutilised. We're, right now, we're producing under 1,000 barrels a day. So there's excess potential there to process third-party crude within the, the Perth Basin. What's key to, to driving 
growth for us is the asset life extension program that we've, we've started and we're, we're well down the track of executing. The subsurface remodelling that we're doing um, has an aim to increase reserves and ultimately oil production. The field's located 300 kilometres north of Perth. It's, in, it's near shore in very shallow water and it's not far north of the, the Arrowsmith Prospect. So, uh, sorry, the Xanadu Prospect, as you can see. It's about 10 kilometres south of us, again close to shore. In getting that into in the Xanadu Prospect into production at some point in the, the next few years, we believe, we'll just need to potentially tie that in via an onshore pipeline up to our processing facility. We've got strong operating margins, thanks to the Cliffhead project and $80 oil. Over the last 18 months, we've worked really hard to reduce costs. We've renegotiated a lot of contracts. We've become the registered operator of Cliffhead, so we're direct employing our people now. We've taken on our own safety case with Nopsema, and what that's allowed us to do is, is to define the scope of our operations. So, we have a safety case now that we think is appropriate to our operations and we think we can save a lot of money in, in our current operations the way it is moving forward. We've got excellent margins. These figures are based on uh, $69 oil. Um, and as I said, uh, overnight Brent hit $80. We're pinned to Brent uh, and that hit $80 overnight. So this is, where, this is where we at Triangle get pretty excited with the, the opportunities. Our real potential lies where we can extend field life into 2030 and, and beyond. We've identified certain wells not operating optimally within the reservoir. So up the top we have uh, the larger red areas, the current production reservoir. The static modelling that we completed uh, has defined up to 29 million barrels unrisked best estimate of prospective oil in place, with a prospective resource of 10.2 million barrels best estimate. We're currently undertaking a dynamic model, which we expect to finish shortly. We're just doing some history matching in the data at the moment, and once that's complete, our, down, our down, down, dynamic model will be finalised. And what that dynamic model will do, it will define a development program that we can move into in the, in the next, uh, next year and the year in 2020 also. So this is a potential game changer for, for Triangle Energy. It's got, we've got significant upside to lock in the company's longevity and prosperity in the Perth Basins for many, many years to come. This is our number one value driver right at the moment. Oops, I'll go back one. ASX listing rules require us to disclose um, certain information, so a cautionary statement identifying what our low, best and high estimates are of our perspective. Again, this is exciting for us um, and our board's very excited about the prospect of getting underway with these sorts of activities. Um, the potential which lies within the remodelling program is huge and we eagerly are awaiting the uh, dynamic modelling results so we can pursue development uh, strategies to increase production. Post the dynamic modelling, we can make decisions in, for 2019 to undertake further strategies, including water management, development drilling, and other production enhancements and workovers in the field. 
all with the, the aim to, as I've said, increase reserves and production. So great potential lies within the near field prospects in our, in our field, as well as in the current producing field. So you would have heard Shelley earlier today talk about Xanadu, um, and we're pretty excited to be involved with, with uh, this joint venture. Um, we've got a 30% participating interest, and it is just located, as you saw on the map, just south of the Cliffhead field. You know, what excites us the most is being, the most is being um, part of an oil discovery in the Perth Basin. It's the first oil discovery in the Perth Basin for, for over 15 years. Um, it convert, what it, the, the oil convert is confirmed as a cliffhead analogue, so it can be processed through Aerosmith with very little capital expenditure. That say, can save the joint venture a lot of money, ultimately. Now, our last main point that I want to get through here is uh, state gas and we spanned this uh, out of our group last year. On paper, at today's share price, state gas is worth $8.6 million to us. Um, and if you think of a market cap of 20 million plus our other interests, I think we're pretty undervalued. It's got exposure to the East Coast gas market, which uh, I know all of you are aware of. Triangle Energy has great potential. What is the investment proposition? It's got great poten the great potential lies in the near field prospects as well as the current producing field where additional reserves and resources can be obtained and worked up. We're significantly undervalued compared to our peers given our production profile and our infrastructure. We're a producing asset with cash flow. We've got established and valuable sought after infrastructure that we see as infrastructure important to the Perth Basin. We've got an exciting exploration and development prospects that can lead to additional reserves and all these factors we believe should lead to a re-rating of our stock. So in, in closing, the message that I want to portray today is there's never been a better time to invest in Triangle Energy. These are exciting times for our company and I really look forward to updating you guys again next year. Thanks very much. Thank you.